I just picked up the Homer Simpson mobile uh, the other day, and some people may want to leave it in their package because it may be collectible because it's the Simpsons, but not me. I'm going to open it. Some collectors may consider TJ Campbell's urge to open, play, and display every Hot Wheels car he comes into both reckless and devaluing. But for TJ, the value in the toys is in loving them hands on. His collection is huge. TJ literally has over 12,000 of these little metal masterpieces, and many of them are highly collectible, and even action. if they have been crashed around a bit. Condition to me isn't that important. I don't care if it's perfect or not, because if it's been played with, that means it was loved, and that's the part that makes me connected to them. Like, if I can get the car from a, an owner, that's the best thing ever. Or their parents that said, oh, this is my son's, and he played with it for all this time. And I mean, that just makes me happy. Like, I have some cases, and they're written in there what cars they had in crayon, you know. So it's like really scribbly writing, and, and, I, and I look in the case, and the cars are still there, and they're all played with and beat up. Like, that's the, that's the perfect prize at the end. I love those. And that's perhaps because TJ's own passion for Hot Wheels began while he was growing up. Unfortunately, TJ says those cars are long gone. I didn't get to keep any of them because what do what boys do? We take the hammer and we smash it and we pour a little lighter fluid and we pretend there was an accident and they get buried in the sandbox. And So unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't keep all mine. But TJ has since collected identical cars to replicate his childhood collection. So these were my favorites as a kid. Uh, the black Superman, this is the Superman here, and the uh, black Roadster. And they had the same paint job with the red line tires. So these are from the 75, but these were always my favorite. They were the fastest ones. Now, as an adult, TJ has been able to collect many different versions of his favorites. Indeed, he has rows of the Supervan, all with different paint jobs on display in his home. He also has everything from modern releases to play sets and cases to some of the very original Hot Wheels cars released. So over here we've got all red lines. These are all from the, f the first few years um, and you can tell by just the tires on them they've got the red lines on them. If they have no hole in the middle that means it's pre-70. Uh, Though original models are high on most collectors' lists, TJ says there are new cars every year which collectors seek out. They're called treasure hunts and are limited edition versions of Hot Wheels models for sale and hidden amongst the regular cars. This one does say treasure hunt. You can see some of them did say it. It says treasure hunt right on there. Or a lot of the cars will just have a TH on there. So they put one in every you know four or five cases or how many ever and you've got to try and find them in there and there's only one so you know when the stores put them out people people go in there and they're trying to find those limited edition ones um, most people try to buy them and then just f sell them on ebay for more than what they paid for them but um, it's always fun when you find them it feels good and i opened them all so i opened every one of them this is the exact same car it came out the exact same year and this was a treasure hunt which everybody was looking for but then they started coming out with these super duper treasure hunts which everybody really wants now. And they've just got fancier paint jobs and real rubber tires, that's the difference. And then the bases are a lot different as well. As a collector who collects just for the passion of the cars, TJ also likes to ignite that same passion in others, especially kids. He even took a bunch of cars with him on a recent trip to Cuba. They've been in embargo for so long and they've never even seen Hot Wheels. Um, so we took a whole bunch of packaged Hot Wheels down there and we started handing them out to all the kids down there. We took over 60 of them with us and that wasn't near enough, we found out. And the joy on their faces was incredible. TJ only has room in his home to display about 10% of his collection. But as a chef by trade, he has dreams and aspirations to do more with it. I think it should be shared for sure. I mean, I always had this uh, idea of putting into it, like having a 50s diner and having them all on display in there, but, you know, so people could look at them and stuff, um, kind of like a museum and then you know set up a track where they come in and they the kids could get it they get a hot wheels with their breakfast or their lunch or whatever they're ordering and if not i would like to at least see them in a, maybe like a museum or something like that where just as a temporary display so people can just enjoy them in the meantime if you want to see more of tj's hot wheels collection you can check out his pictures on instagram just search for hot wheels underscore surfer 74. for go on shaw tv i'm derek johnstone